Uh, bling! Uh, sorry, the I, I didn't have it clicked in the window. But anyway, hello, people of the internet. Uh, technically speaking, the last time we recorded uh, was like what a week ago. Uh. I don't know about a week, but it's definitely been a few days. Yeah, so uh, I, I know we stopped at a really weird place, like in the middle of a cross-examination, but like, I had to take him to work, and we didn't have any time left, Yeah. and uh, if we sound tired, it's because it's like basically midnight right now, and I'm out of videos, so I'm like, we gotta record at least something so I have something to upload until my next day off. Right. So that's what we're doing, we're recording at least a little bit, <laughs> so we have... Something. So, yeah. So, uh, apologies in advance if we were a bit off these yeah. next few episodes, but we'll do we'll do the best we can. Alright. Where did we leave off? I, I know that we're across the zoom in bikini, and what, what is it we're trying to... Uh, I think I was still pressing every statement. Hmm. Oh, Alright, we're playing that worth. <laughs> you sure about that? Yes, after all, we always wear the same clothes. I don't mean because we're poor, you understand? It's our style. Yes, that's it. There's absolutely no need to explain yourself. Anyway, she looked different from normal, so that really stuck out. Like me, holding a whippets puppy instead of my whip. At least then it might bite you and not someone else. I just didn't have her hood on. I'm sure of it. Very well. Shit, I have to figure out how to, um, have to remember how to do his voice. Very well. Very well. He's like high in Canadian shit. Yeah. Now, please tell us about the victim, eh? It's so stupid. It is. <laughs> the room the victim was staying in would look courtyard, correct? Which means the victim's room was on the second floor? No, no. Hazard Temple is a single store building. But the mountain itself slopes downwards, which elevates our the main gated side of the temple and the guest rooms in the back to about the height of a two-story building. I see. And the victim was staying in one of these elevated rooms, correct? Yes, I should know. I'm the one who carried her things to her room, after all. What makes you so sure of all this? It's just like I told you earlier. I heard a noise from the courtyard. Okay? Thump? Just like that? You're one smart sister. I'll give you that. The autopsy report states that the victim's body was covered in bruises, indicating a fall from around 10 feet in height. Wow, she is short. <laughs> right. Mmm, it appears the witness was not mistaken then. Yep, yep. I'm more than just a pretty face, especially in winter. I'm a woman of faith, after all. The head honcho of Hazakura Temple. There's only two of them working there. What's wrong, Myos Edgeworth? No snappy remark? It doesn't feel like she is lying. This very powerful testimony, too. She claims to have seen the instant in which the defendant stabbed the victim. There are only two things I can believe in right now. My client, Iris, and my own abilities as a defense attorney. Okay, well now we gotta figure out what the thing is. Alright. Uh, this is what was changed. Normally when something is changed, that's what we have to present on. Right, so... We know she did have her hood on. Yes. Matter of fact, we actually already presented her hood on. Right, and that's what got to change to this. Yes. So is that still what we present on? Because I don't think it is. Ah. Uh... I, you know, I don't know. Well, let's see. Stay in the corner room, which brings out of the apartment. Sadly, this have occurred after she was pushed out of her window. Is there some way she might have fallen somehow? Uh, do we have a picture? Uh, yeah, well, that's not the right one. Uh,. So she's covered in bruises, indicating that she definitely fell or was pushed out of her room. Yes. And can, can we go back to a, a, a map of the uh, room layout? Yeah. Well, I mean, this is the best we got. I don't think we actually have a map of the building itself. Okay. Yeah, well. Hmm. 
is this picture? I don't know if that will help us at all. I don't think so. Uh, is it in the room somewhere? <laughs> Tip you after a death. And the last one is... It's a crime photo that shows this picture. Right, okay. Alright, uh... It doesn't help that it, it's been a while since we... Yeah. Uh, so it's not exactly fresh in our minds. I took a look, and... So Iris was oh, with that sword of all things. Hmm. That sword, do we have, like, the thing of that in our inventory? Uh, yes. Just blood and suspect's fingerprints on it. Uh, I mean, this doesn't really seem to have any contradictions. Right. I mean, the sword of thing. Well, I'm not 100% convinced that she actually went and stabbed her. I think that it's actually a photo of her trying to pull the sword out. Uh, I After mean, someone else had stabbed her. Uh, just considering the statue's holding it. Yeah. Which is pretty weird. Wait, the statue's holding it. How the fuck was she stabbed with it? I don't know. Do Wait a second. Go back, because she said that she saw... Um, Iris stab her. Yeah, yeah, but it's clearly still like, in the hand of the statue. I mean... So that's when she's underneath it somehow. That didn't work. I was wondering if maybe I can get her on the. This is blackmail. The reason why she didn't come, or whatever. No. Uh. uh but or I mean, what about her testimony? No. Okay, that didn't work either. Plus, I think we already used that previously. Oh. Uh. Heard a noise. Is there anything that can contradict hearing a noise? I mean, landing on snow, that, that still make a noise. Yeah. Wait, what's up with the data? Uh, snow with occasional lightning strikes. Uh, snow 7 to approximately 10.50 p.m. Lightning. 10 to approximately 11 p.m. Uh, we're gonna try to get her on. Hey, how'd you hear it over the lightning? No. <laughs> Was there no thunder with it? Yeah, it didn't say anything about thunder. Okay. Although it is weird that there wouldn't be thunder. Well, I want to see more about the weather real quick. Okay. 1045 or 30 minutes pass between the fire starting and going out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh. Yeah, I wish we had more time to record in our last session. Yeah. I, I'm trying to think, was there... Wait. Okay, you can finish your bath around 11, you're coming back, but the autopsy report time... If it was... So uh... by then she was already dead. Okay, well, that's not it apparently. I guess it's close enough. Uh, wait, is this the one that I pressed that on or presented that on? Just making sure. Yeah, okay. What are you trying to present? Uh, I was seeing if, if uh, the autopsy report, since it would have been after 11, but... Mm. <sighs> well, the cat's on the tray, but that's okay, as long as she doesn't make too much noise. But if the sword is still holding it... Then how was she stabbed with it? That, that wasn't it. Uh. 
We already know Iris didn't have her hood on. I know, but we... that, that's the thing that changed, though. Normally, when things well, change... Then... <laughs> what are you doing? Why? We're recording, baby! She's climbing on my lap. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Goodness gracious. <sighs> baby. Well, now she's just perched on the armrest. necessarily find or have anything to contradict that, right? Correct. And I, I'm pretty sure she was staying in the corner room anyway. Yeah, that seems right. Okay. So, well, let's go through a one by one. Okay. Just... One by one, see if we're getting to disprove anything. Yeah. Alright, right. I'm in bathroom 11. Thought I should return to the temple. Okay, seems All right. fine. As I was walking back, I heard a noise from the courtyard, I took a look, and Iris, Miss Gleas, and with that sword of all things. That, I... Do we present the photo of the statue in this one already? The photo of the statue? Yeah, with the sword in the back. Uh, we might have. Yes, we did, and it didn't work. Okay. All right. Uh... Is this something we have to like agree with and present like the sword, maybe? I, this isn't taking Rambo, we don't have agree points. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Okay. So, I don't think we have anything that can necessarily contradict the sword thing right now, right? Probably not. Okay, well then. And now that you mentioned it, you didn't have a hood on, which is correct. Right. Yeah. Staying in the corner room, okay. Don't really. Is this uh, one of those things where we have to, like, press thing something twice after we're getting new information or something? Maybe. So it must have occurred after she was pushed out her window. Okay, I'm gonna press everything again, I guess. How far? occurred after she was pushed out of her window. Push. How, do, how do we know that she was pushed? We don't. Was that it? literally it? Because the autopsy doesn't say anything about a push? I, I guess. Oh! <coughs> it says that the victim, if nothing else, they definitely fell from about a height of 10 feet because they're covered in bruises. Because I, I did find it odd that she said push out the window, and I was like, how would you know that she was pushed? But that, I mean, well, it did say bruises, so I was like, well, I mean, that it doesn't make any sense for her to just have fallen out the window, right? Well, I mean, yeah, but so, clearly, so was, I, I mean, she must have been pushed, but so you could say like, oh, you know, uh, even though she doesn't know she was pushed, you could probably like piece it together, you know? Right. So that's that's how the logic I was trying to go with. Well, right, because to me, that's what. Yeah, it's like, the, that's where your train of thought would lead to. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's the natural conclusion, is that, oh, she fell out a window, well, then she must have been pushed, because no normally sane person, as far as I'm aware, just walks out of a window. 
ten feet up off the ground. Right. So, anyway, we got it right, so whatever. Yeah, anyway. Impressive logic. That's what I'd like to say, anyway. Oh, please do. My brain is something else. Especially in winter. However, I think you were overlooking one thing. <sighs> Excuse me. Miss Von Karma, would you be so kind as to take another look at the autopsy report? The, the autopsy report? The victim did fall from a height of 10 feet. However, this fall was after she was killed. What? What? Wait, what? I, what? Uh, I, didn't even, I, I didn't even see that! <laughs> I didn't either. I. Well, okay, now I know why it's right. I just yeah. I just took a shot in the dark and happened to get it right. Yeah. <laughs> because I, I, I feel so stuck in read. Because <laughs> we, we can't uh, read, apparently. Apparently not. Okay, anyway. <sighs> Uh, well, that's right. It, it says after death right here. The scene the witness claims to have seen is contradictory. If the defendant stabbed and killed the victim here in the courtyard, how did the victim then go on to take a ten foot tall, a ten foot fall? <laughs> ah. Uh, I don't know. Order, order. The victim was killed, then fell. If that's the case, then the must have must have been killed in her room. Don't you agree? That is the logical conclusion. Yes, that's right. The victim must have been stabbed by the defendant in her own room. And she was then thrown out of a window down into the courtyard below. Were there any signs of a struggle in Miss Donham's room? She was stabbed with a sword. That would leave a blood stain, wouldn't you agree? Well, Miss Varicarma, was there any blood? Whoa! No traces of blood were found in the victim's room. You, your whip has just caused traces of blood to be found on my glorious playoff beard. What? How am I supposed to go uh, join the football team now? Uh, oh wait, I'm 65, I can't join it anyway. Wait, I don't play football. Judge, are you, are you, are uh, you? yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, what were we talking about again? Court case, the body fell after the Oh, death. oh yeah, right, right, okay, body, got it. Uh, however, if there's no blood in the room, oh, I didn't even get to read it all. I'm sure there's no need for me to go over this, as I'm sure your honor is well aware. I'm not aware of anything right now. Of when a stab wound produces the most blood. <laughs> when it produces the most blood? I'm not sure how it feels all the way. <laughs> right. Very little blood is actually lost at the moment of a blade's insertion. If you want to talk about when the most blood would be lost from a body, that would be when the blade is removed. Indeed. With the weapon still in the place, it acts like a lid on the wound. That's true. With the weapon still in the body, there wouldn't be much bleeding. A uh, perfectly reasonable line of thinking. We have come to a conclusion then. The victim was thrown out of the window with the sword still in place, which removes all of the contradictions. Uh, well, except for the whole statue thing. Well, I'm assuming that's coming yeah. out. <laughs> order, order, order! Uh, I must admit, this is a probable version of events. I'd expect no less from Francesca von Karma. She locates and takes control of every vital point. <laughs> it seems that we need a clearer testimony from the witness. Remove all sus 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 supposition. Sup supposition. Thank you. Uh, on your part, and tell us only the facts, please. Witness, please, remain standing on the crate. <laughs> Don't go selling me short now. <laughs> the weight of winter snow has me bent out of shape. Especially in my back and my mood. Sister, please, give us your testimony. I will give you a vigorous massage once we are finished here. With the whip. <laughs> Oh boy, all right, all right. Well, 
When I looked across the scene, the sword had already been in place. Thinking about it now, I didn't actually see her stab in Mystic Elise. I've never seen so much blood before. That's when I fainted. You can't blame me, can you? And when I woke, Mystic Amy was... Uh, Mystic Amy was stabbing Elise through the back. Okay, well, there goes our contradiction, because she actually invented it. Hmm. Hmm. This all confirms Miss Von Karma's theory. Von Karma strive for nothing but perfection. Putting together such facts is nothing for me. You should know that, Miles Edgeworth. Perfection is an impossibility, Francisco Von Karma. And I'm here to teach you just that. Alright. At the time, was the victim bleeding? Well, I was very shocked to be seeing all this, of course, so I'm not entirely sure. But I don't think I saw any blood. Not then. I am sure that you didn't. The weapon was acting as a plug in the wound. In any case, let's be clear on one very important point. Did you actually see the instant in which the victim was stabbed? Think carefully, this is very important. It's Iris we're talking about here. I'm thinking for her all I'm worth. No, when I looked over, the sword was already in Mystic Elise's body. Hmm. It might not be conclusive, but this testimony supports her theory. The victim was stabbed in her room and then dropped into the courtyard. I think this proves it rather well, Miles Edgeworth. Honestly, if anything, that just kind of proves that she didn't do it, because then why would she go and try to pull the sword out? Right. Or, or touch the sword or anything after that. Yeah. Like, she's already dead, just leave her in the snow. So, I... Not guilty already? <laughs> I mean... This yeah, seems mean, this seems pretty conclusive. On a, like I know we don't have the whole mystery solved and who actually did it, but we can that, that at least kind of proves that she did. Especially it. like how did it go from it being Iris with the sword, you know, stabbing her to the statue? Right. So you were saying that you saw the victim's blood. Oh, that's right. Well, someone had that's blood on the Iris too. When the defendant was arrested, she was meditating in her room, and her blood-flecked clothing was neatly folded in the corner. What? Her clothes were blood-flecked as well? Hmm, that seems quite conclusive to me. What should I do? Press this point further? Always. Always. <laughs> Going back to your previous statement, you said that you saw a little bleeding when the victim was stabbed. But now, you say you saw the victim bleeding? Well, well, I said what I saw is what I saw. What did you see? Maybe I didn't see the poor woman get stabbed, but I saw the girl pull the sword out of her, plain as day. Pulling the sword out? Well, it wasn't exactly pulling. It was more like it came out. Witness, you will add the statement to your testimony. Oh, was that important? More important than you can imagine. I saw the incident in which the blade plunged into the hilt was smoothly drawn out. Smoothly, you say? You are saying you saw the sword smoothly slide out? That's right. The whole thing happened right next to the gold statue, Mr. Gamey. Mr. Glace was on the ground and I was stood stooped over her. The sword bar was buried up to the hilt. When I stood up, the sword in her hand just slid out of Mystic Elise's body. It slid out from that gaping wound. Ugh. It goes without saying that if the sword was removed, there would be bleeding. Nothing out of place here. Is that really the case? I can't help but feel that something about this testimony is very out of place. Yeah, I mean, if it was buried up to the hilt, shouldn't the whole sword be bloody? Not only that, but also, I don't see any way that that would smoothly come out of anybody. Yeah, because that's Look fucking... at all those fucking, like, extra edges and stuff. Right. Like, that, that, you would have to, like, rip and tear <laughs> to, like, pull that out. Rip and tear. <laughs> fucking Doom guy. <laughs> but yeah, I get, I, 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 I agree. That something which couldn't possibly have happened appears to have happened. Was the bleeding caused by the killer removing the sword? 
No mistake in it. I remember it all. I remember it all clear as day. Don't you think that's a bit odd? What do you mean, Miles Edgeworth? Why would the killer pull out the sword? What? If all she wanted to do was place the weapon in the hand of the golden statue, then there was no reason to remove her from the body. All that would have accomplished in causing the victim to believe it necessary. <laughs> Your thoughts, Miss Von Karma? Th that's... Indeed, it is strange now that you mention it. We're going to need to find an answer to this mystery, too. Anyway, the witness saw something terrible. So, what did you do after that, witness? Now, on to what the killer did next. You saw none of it, correct? Well, I was unconscious. How long were you out for? I don't know, 10, maybe 20 minutes? A young man with a very prickly looking head woke me up. By stepping on me, actually. Hmm, I'm not sure I like the method of... I'm not sure I like that method of... Re, re, res, res, resuscitation? Resuscitation. You know, that's one of those words where I hear it, but I never actually see it spelled. Mm. So, like, I was like, what the fuck? But then, like, it's resuscitation. Like, oh, yeah, that makes sense now, you know? Mm. <laughs> okay. Well, I wasn't asking for mouth-to-mouth -mouth or anything of the sort, but I would have woken a more gentle wicked than right about then, let me tell you. I shall have words with the offender personally. What did you see upon awakening? Well, I, uh, okay, there are well. too many unnatural elements in this case. Why was it necessary to use the... <sighs> Why was it necessary to use the Shichishito from the Amy statue as a weapon? Why was the weapon ultimately placed back in the hand of the statue? If I can expose the flaws of this testimony, perhaps I will begin to find the truth. Okay, well, I, I accidentally hit the controller stick instead of pressing this. Mm -hmm. By uh, Mystic Amy, you are referring to the Golden Statue, correct? Just stabbing someone with a su the sh Shichishito. Shichishito, a sacred treasure, is terrible enough. But doesn't make Mystic Amy hold the blade? Truly a heinous, heinous, despicable crime. It is easy to despise something. Anyone can do it. However, there is something that cannot be done so easily. Whatever it is, I'm sure it's doubly hard for you. Anyway, what is the problem? Exactly, why would the killer set up this gruesome scene? Can anyone explain the reasoning behind that? Hmm, no, I don't think I can. There isn't always a logical reason behind why someone acts. That's true, so true. In the early spring, for example, I often find myself... You can <laughs> stop right there with yes. this. <laughs> right. There isn't always... That phrase might come in handy someday. Okay, and now that's... Too many yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay. Anyway, I'm pretty sure we have to... Up to the hilt with the oh, sword. Yeah, obviously. yeah. Saving just in case. Baby, can you not clean yourself in front of the microphone? I'm, yeah, your licks are gonna be... Caught Probably on. picked up. Yeah. Maybe. Who knows. Can you get a sip of your coke? Yeah, right. And of course, she runs right back to the microphone. <laughs> and the controller fell. Wow. <laughs> Baby, why are you going back over there each time? Okay, oh, are you just are you hopping on top of the fridge? Jeez. I feel like the cat's becoming a running gag, but at this point, it's kind of run its course. A little bit. Uh, well, this run was done, right? Yeah. Well, with this series, anyway. Well, it, yeah. We need like a like a glass block to like place around the microphone to keep her from from it. Yeah. Like a microphone shield or some shit. <laughs> I just hope that we can still pick up sound while it's in the glass box. Well, I I, I mean like like three sides and like the fourth side is like open, so this way we can still like talk to it, but like it prevents her from like well messing with it, you know. Yeah, but also if it's loose, then she can still like rub her face against it and then cause it to like slide and then. It caused like the rubbing on the tray to make noise, and <laughs> I, I guess. Well, I, we could try having the microphone over on the desk. Uh, but uh, no, that's too close to the speakers. 
I know, I know. Uh, well, anyway, in the next episode, we'll, uh... Continue the testimony? Yeah. See you guys then.